has a brother called, uh, is it Rooster? I think it's Yeah, Rooster. he does have a yeah, brother yeah. called Rooster. Because Rooster watches this show. This is the only reason Matthew was ever on this show. Yeah. Because he said to me, the first time he was on the show, like he did the show, and then uh, during the commercial break, he said, Rooster was right about you. <laughs> what? Yeah. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, he said, you're a little different. <laughs> and then he said, Rooster's never right about anything. Oh, God, that's so funny. <laughs> Please welcome Matthew McConaughey, everybody. Hello, my dear. How are you, Greg? I'm good, buddy. How are you? Pretty damn nice. Yeah, man. yeah, you good? Yeah. Have a nice. Enjoy your beverage here. I'll just uh, join you. A rattlesnake yeah. to a. Yeah, you get that one, and yeah. I get this one. Mine's lovely. Yeah, you're you're Mine's in my lovely. airstream now, buddy. Mm. <laughs> this is the welcome card. Yeah, I give you a welcome card with airstream on it. A little on fifteen footer on the cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that is that like yours? You have very famously have one of those. Don't you? I got a twenty eight footer. I got a. Um... Airstream, we're talking. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thirty-four footer, <laughs> and then I got a twenty-five footer, 1952. Good Lord, 24. you have three? Three. Yeah. <laughs> so a, no wonder you never hell. put your shirt on, sir. So. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Are you good? I'm good, man. Yeah. Family's good. Work's good. Health's good. You've Mom's got the, uh, good. Yeah, your 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 kid must be uh, what? ten months. Ten months today. Actually. Oh, congratulations! Thank That's you, lovely. Man. Yeah. Thank you. Ten months. What's going on? Uh, you getting any sleep? I am, because he's got a good mama. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm getting sleep. I'm getting my eight hours, man. What's happening now? He, uh, he's going to swimming classes. Um, he won't be got... walking yet. Is he, is he walking yet? Pretty damn close. Yeah, really? Yeah, Ten yeah, months? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's early. He skipped... You got yourself a walker there, man. <laughs> yeah. We do have a walker. Yeah, he'll no. be... You don't want... It's not good when they That's start walking. That's what everybody says. Oh, man. <laughs> it goes <laughs> DEFCON 3 to DEFCON 1 when they start... Oh, oh. They're you all over the place. Goalie, right? Well, they, all yeah. they do for the next, well, they start learning to walk, and, and then for the next two years, over. everywhere they can find an outlet for electricity, they're there with a little <laughs> finger. That's starting to happen, and everyone's telling us, no, 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 you don't want to rush him to walk. So uh, his mother, myself, and his grandmother, like, got him on those, you know those two ties where they're on like a little vest, and you hold them up above Oh, the, yeah, 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 I have one of those, but not for walking. Yeah. <laughs> It goes with the feather, right? Yeah, it goes with the feather, yeah, 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 that's right. And the cod piece. Yeah, the cod piece, the shoulder yeah. pads. You've seen my yeah, act! Yeah, yeah. You've seen my act! So Levi's running around in that same outfit this morning. Anyway, he's doing the, doing the, we got a big canyon out, and he, it's about 50 feet down and 50 feet up, and he's walking, and every, anyway, everybody keeps coming by going, better slow down on the teaching him to walk for that reason, because once he does it, you're playing goalie. Yeah, the whole the rest time. Of the rest of the your whole life. time. So. Yeah, no, it's 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 crazy. It's zone defense. You after got an eight-year-old, huh? You eight got an eight-year-old. Yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to keep him from walking. <laughs> I, oh, I, I sit down. You sit down. <laughs> oversized cod piece. Just, just <laughs> I gave him to the shoulder legs. pads and the the cod piece, just like his daddy. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's good. Now listen, do you drive your Airstream around? Do you, you well, do you drive you it around? You pull it. Well, do you drive around, you know, but well, you just pull it yeah, behind yeah. you? Man, you must be made of steel. <laughs> I've got to keep getting bigger trucks to pull this thing, because yeah. the one I've got now, it all matters kind of weight. Like this one, a 15-footer, mm -hmm. you could pull that with any car. You right. could pull that with a Camry. Right. Or any, whatever, whatever you wanted to. Wait a minute, hang on. Who, who, uh, who advertises on CBS Ford, doesn't it? You could probably pull, pull that with a Ford, Ford. couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. You know, coming to the next one, the 28-footer, I pull that with a Ford F-250 diesel. Really? The F-250? I have the F-350. Oh. I do? Check this out. Yeah. The 34-footer, though, which is going to weigh 16,500 pounds, I'm going to have to go to the F-450. That's a very heavy uh, trailer. That's, that, a, that's a lot of weight. Because my airplane only weighs 3,500 pounds. <laughs> True, though. Yeah. Because I was just in Acapulco and I forgot about coming on the show, so I had to hop on my G5 to show up. All right. <laughs> ah, game set. You pull them all over. You pull them all over. Do you go on road trips with them? Are you going anywhere mm -hmm. exciting? I love the idea of doing this, by the way. This to me is Americana. 
It's right a great there. way to see it, man. Yeah. It's a great way to see the country. I mean, you fly, we, you, we travel, you fly into places, you stay in a hotel, you go to work, you don't really see the place. No, not at all. But you get on the road and you, 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 you know, it's, just, it's a slower amount of time. You get to see the country. And America, man, I mean, I've been across it many times. I've been to 47 yeah. of the states. I think, me too, actually, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think. And, and, and still. I have, no, seriously, I have. I have, no, yeah. I don't know what the hell they're laughing at. I really he just gets his citizenship, and he's been around all. No, no, I've, I've, I've lived here for a long time. I really, I've been all over. I've, yeah. I've really, I get. Or I used to go in my motorcycle, and then yeah. I got a little too kind of scared. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so now I go in a, you know, a big car, a Ford, actually. Yeah. Yeah. An F three fifty. An F three fifty. Yeah. No, I, I, I go all what, What's your favorite area in the states? I like going to the south, actually. Yeah. I, I, I have a very nice time in the south because it was surprising to me. Well, you're from Texas. Yeah. It's not. That's kind of like a separate area on its own. That's but the the. <laughs> But uh, the, the, oh yeah, because Rick Perry was saying, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. sovereignty. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Are you, would, you, would you be happy to secede from the union? It's <laughs> a mighty big question. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah. it's a little too big. Wow. But the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the south I like to go to, because I went to um, Arkansas, a town yeah. called Ozark in Arkansas, and I tasted catfish. You ever had catfish? Oh yeah. That's an ugly fish. But it tastes good. It tastes fantastic. It tastes great. Yeah, yeah, but you wouldn't want to look at it before you eat it. You want to, you want to, you want to eat it and then get the, that kind of information. Bottom feeders, you know, but they taste good. Much like this show, yeah. actually. <laughs> but they taste great. Do you, uh, do you, uh, uh, when I've been to Texas, they, uh, in Austin in particular, they have a lot of hot sauces. In Austin. Did you really? Yeah, University That's of Texas. That's a great city, Austin. Right? Yeah, it is cool. That's very, and they have the hot sauces. Did you ever go to that hot sauce store there? They've got all the different hot sauces. Very hot. Yeah? As hot as, hot as California today, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Good today. Yeah, it's very hot. How yeah. hot is it today in California, Matthew? I'd say it's, it's feeling like low 90s. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. 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 With a, a low pressure area moving in from the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not as hot as it gets in Texas, though. No, it gets very hot time. in Texas. Yeah. No, I haven't been to that hot sauce store you're talking about, but I'm a, I, I love the hot sauces, and I got all kinds of hot sauces. Do you make house. them? Yeah. Really? Mix them up, yeah. What, what do you use? To, usually it's a mix of different sauces, and then I'll come up with, go to the grocery store and get a whole bunch of different peppers from the pepper section, put them in a blender. I got a really badass blender. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what kind of a blender do you have? I can't even say the name of it. It's so badass. Oh, really? It's a pro series. They use it on Top Chef. Oh, yeah? yeah. They use mine on uh, Iron Chef. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. They're using mine now on Iron Chef America. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> they, use, they use mine uh, in uh, the CIA. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Mine's coming out. Unreleased version. Signature series by myself in the next Mission Impossible. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Can I ask you? Uh, we're, out, we're out of time. Can I ask yeah, you what this is? Is, this is? This is. This is a guy, Mishka. This is a guy is with my uh, record company, Just Keep Living Records, and I was co-producer on this album. It's a great reggae album um, that we made. It's I like out. a bit of reggae. Yeah, check this out. It's not a you know bastard. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That but was, it's, uh, it's a great album. Well, real this proud fella here doesn't look that reggae-ish to me, if you know what I'm saying. Well, when you hear him, you won't think that he's white. Uh, <laughs> but he makes beautiful music, Ken. Yeah, yeah that's what it's all about. I'm going to give you one of those. Thanks. This is, and this is, what the, this is very new technology for CBS. This is what the folks are calling the CD. <laughs> the CD right here. <laughs> <laughs> Mishka. Uh, Mishka. Yeah, What's man. it called? Above the Bones? I'll listen to this. Above I do like about reggae. Could we have this, this fellow on the show? Could we? Have, we could. Could we? We'd would you mind? Love him on the show. Love to. Yeah, we'll have him on the show. That'd yeah. be nice. Bam. Yeah. Great. <laughs> and when he comes on the show, maybe as uh, some kind of piola, you could get me one of them blenders, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Good to meet you, that, sir. Man. Matthew McConaughey. Hey. <laughs> What's up, Cockadilly? What's up, buddy? I'll just do my thing and I'll talk, all right? <laughs> hey, everybody, I want to do. Uh, thanks for your enthusiasm. Uh, 
Hey, you know, when you were in that movie, Matthew, uh, Trace Atkins is in that movie. Hey, hey! Yeah, you got something on that. Oh, uh, yeah, Corner. you can get that out for me. Hang on a second. Why don't you use your own mouth? It's right there. Uh, <laughs> got it. Yeah, thanks, sugar. Now, <laughs> I just called you sugar. How do you feel about that? All right. Pretty sweet. All right. So, listen, a lot of people say to me, Wavy, your accent kind of sounds a little weird and strange, buddy. Where are you from? And I figured I don't really know, but if I asked you, you could tell me where you think I probably am from. I think you got to the Archifalaya Bayou via Scotland. Yeah, that's probably right. <laughs> the Archifalaya Via Scotland. Yeah. You ever been to Scotland, buddy? I have been to Scotland. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, what they do you got do? good weed in Scotland, buddy. <laughs> and you know what else? Down in the Archipelago, you don't have any problem being like, you know, some people don't like to be called like a like a like a dwarf. Say, don't you know? Don't call them that. Don't man. call them no, that. M I D G E T word, right? But like, do you have a problem? You don't have a problem being called a, a coo nasty. <laughs> you don't have any problem being called. Cracker, do you? Not at all. All right. <laughs> Not at all. Because <laughs> that's about where we're at. So. Well, I'll call you Poonash, you call me Cracker, yeah. and we'll be just fine. All right, I think we're going to get along fine. Right. Let's go and, uh, let's go and uh, blow up a liquor store, buddy. <laughs> you get them high, I'll get them low. Yeah. All right. It's going to be a long <laughs> show. <laughs> Holy crap, I peed myself there. I actually did. Please welcome Matthew McConaughey, everybody. Oh. Good to see you. I see you, Craig. Congratulations on the movie. That's Thanks, man. a huge. I, I read the book of this movie. It's great. This guy's a badass, though. McKellar's fun. Yeah, yeah. You're a big fan of Connolly's, huh? Yeah, I like. Yeah, Michael, Michael Connolly Connolly wrote the book. Wrote the book. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of them. Are you going to do a bunch of these movies like cartoons? <laughs> we could, hopefully. Well, you know hopefully when they do a cartoon, five of them. Do, yeah, five of them. I don't know. We got to. We got this one's got to finish doing well. If people keep going to see it, I'll go. You I'll know, go it's got to make a certain amount times. of money. Then yeah. we got. Yeah, go see it five times. Five times. Over the top, hit that number. We can make the second one. That'd be nice. And then you make a book like Anderson. Harry Potter, but in L.A. with detectives. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> That'd be nice. You like, you, you like that other character, too, Harry Bosch, that's in the uh, Harry the Bosch, books, right? yeah, Harry Bosch. I heard you had interest in being Harry Bosch if he becomes in one of the films. But Harry Bosch is I an L.A. Some... detective, though. I can't do it. Look, here's my L.A. How you doing? That's all you got to say. That's all I got. Over and over and over. How you doing? How you doing? That guy's he's, genuinely he's from America. That. How you doing? Well, the character you play, Mickey Holler, he's from L.A., though, right? Yeah, I think he's from... I mean, I, I didn't do an L.A. accent. I got, I got my own accent, which is pretty much Texas, but, uh... You know, That's a Texas accent? running around downtown. <laughs> this is definitely a Texas, Texas accent. Texas accent? Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, Trace Atkins, who was in the movie with you? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's one of the larger men I've ever met. He's a, he's a scary... Yeah. ...fella, isn't he? Soft-spoken, but... Soft-spoken. When, when he says it straight, you're like, okay, Trace. Yeah, I hear you. He looks you right in the eyes yeah. like that. Yeah, well, he, only when he's sitting down, because when he's standing up, he's like, okay, over yeah. here. Uh, he came to see me when I did a show in Nashville, and I had to give a refund to the person sitting behind him. <laughs> the person sitting behind him because I couldn't see. Couldn't see. Dude. He was huge. He was wearing a hat. And I, I was going to say, uh, you got to, and you don't want to go, hey, buddy, move out the way. Because he'd go, no, nah. no, you don't want to, you don't want to. <laughs> He's good in the movie, too. He's, uh, yeah, I know. He plays the head of a, uh, a biker gang. Some yeah, guys that I'm defending that. and stuff. And uh, he's good. Yeah. Yeah, he's good in it. Do you still uh, play music? You could play music with him. Are you still playing the bongos? Bang on, bang on the skins, yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you still? Uh, oh, yeah. And by, you know, um, that's code. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's... <laughs> that's what? That's code. You know, do you still play the bongos? You know oh, yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> play the bongos? You still kind of... And, and, still had the Willie and, Nelsons, and, and you know what I'm talking and about? And it's still best when you got your seven of nine showing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, seven of nine was the name of a character who yeah. had his uh, fantastic ass. Um, <laughs> see, I didn't watch Star Trek. You didn't watch Star Trek? No. I, that's interesting. I didn't know you were in Al Qaeda. How long have you been in Al Qaeda? <laughs> we didn't. We, we didn't, didn't watch Star we Trek. Everybody watched Star Trek. Never watched Star Trek. No, I watched Incredible Hulk. 
For that, you know, he was on for an hour. Yeah. And he, and he turned to the Incredible Hulk three times. Three times, yeah. He'd get angry three times a show. Yeah, and turn green and do it. And that's yeah. that was that. Or it was the Washington Redskins playing football. We weren't allowed much TV in my family. You were allowed the Incredible Hulk and the, the football? Yeah. <laughs> so that means a lot. Yeah. Right? yeah. You get it now? That explains you yeah. in a big Not way. Star Trek. <laughs> no Star Trek. Uh, do, would you let your kids watch the uh, TV, Dan? you got little tiny kids, haven't you? Uh, they're in a toy store now. I like having kids around the house. I got two and a half, and we got a one-year-old daughter. So I got... You uh, got a daughter? See, I don't have a daughter yet. You I, got two boys, sorry. I got... Uh, no, I got a one-year-old daughter, Vita, and Levi's two and a half. That's good for now. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll roll with that for a while, but we're not against having more later. What about having, like, maybe six? What about having... Think of them, and I think of having, like... No, nah, I'm not even going to say that. No, come on, say that. <laughs> no. Say, like... Because I just almost said it, and then I just... Hopped out and I read it in print. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you mean, no, yeah. I just read yeah, that. You, I forget. Camilla, I'm not going to say that. Very few people watch that show, but some of them that do blog about it afterwards, and that's where you've got to be careful because then it leaks out. <laughs> we could have some more. We would love to have some more. Yeah, if, yeah, If you we should. got the, uh, the, the, the time and the want to. You keep looking at my snake, dude. What's wrong? Well, it lost a fang. Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's the rough and tumble world of late night talk shows, man. <laughs> That's a dangerous world where I think that was Trace Atkins actually punched him. Yeah? Yeah. He, Trace doesn't move that fast, though. He just He moves so fast steady. you don't even know he's moved. <laughs> now, he got shot. You know he got shot? Yeah. yeah well, he told it, me that yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His ex-wife shot yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've made some yeah. women mad yeah. in my life, but none of them shot me yet. No, uh, I, mean, I hear you. Yeah, whoa. I'd like to stay out of the way of the bullet yeah. myself. Well, that's why I think Trace probably moves fast. <laughs> he didn't move too fast. Well, then. that's true. She got him. Yeah, yeah, she, she didn't get him. it. Yeah, that's true. He's all right now, though. I think they've patched patched it up. Yeah, <laughs> or something. Yeah. What do you do then when you make your wife mad? When you when she, the mother of your kids gets angry at you? Do you? How do you calm her down? Play the bongos. That helps. <laughs> you know, by you, playing. No music. Music always. Music always helps. How do I calm? Man, honestly, my my lady, we don't get too overly excited or create false drama anyway. I got a, I got a gray woman who doesn't bring too much high maintenance Ooh la la. In, the, in, in my life. Or, or, you can't see la la. on TV, man. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. You come on here say, uh-oh, uh-oh. You can't say that. Uh, that's crazy. Well, what's uh, coming to go? Tusi frusi. Joy's mediocrity and you cussing. This is the best audience you've ever had, though, right? Uh, well, you sometimes I exaggerate. Ding a baby. Audience <laughs> ever had. <laughs> you got four lesbians. Four lesbians, yep. You got the guy that somebody hired for you to laugh yeah, on. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, right? Right? Do you ever get that, uh, though? Yeah. No, I know. Do you, see when you go, see when you go to see a movie and you're in the movie and you got your friends there. Like, do you go and see the movie when it's out? Right, when, it go, when it's in the theater, not the premiere, but it goes out, you go and... Sometimes, yeah. Right. And so do you laugh out loud to try... Well, not during the Lincoln Lawyer movie. <laughs> it's, <too laughs> really. ah, it's really funny, this scary bit. <laughs> Just really get them going. Yeah, but do you try and encourage them? No, what it is, it's on the set. When you first show up on the set to make a movie, you got three months to make a movie. And that first day, you may do a scene, and there's always one person who's coming up going... Oh, man, that was the best. God, you're the, you're the greatest. That was great. You're going, this is the guy I'm really not going to like That's at right, the end yeah, of the yeah. show. <laughs> yeah. You know the actors you've got to look out for as well? Here's what they told me in theater. Look out for the actor that brings sandwiches to the first day of rehearsal. Why? I'll tell you why. Because you're rehearsing the first day of rehearsal. It's the actor's job. They're all meeting the new actors for the first time. You're going to be in a play together. It's going to be maybe a year, right? So at lunchtime, you've all got to go out at lunchtime, get to know each other, have some pasta, drink too much in the pub, come back maybe an hour late from lunch, and the director goes, you guys! And everybody goes, ah, like that. And you all become a little gang, right? Right. Right. But the one guy that has his sandwiches, he's going to sit there he when you say, let's there. all go for lunch. Like, I got my sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. when you're on stage with him later, when you're looking for a bit of help, he's kind of like, I got my sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> Eight months later, you want to just thump him in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever do a long run in the theater? Ever do a long Never run? touch the stage. I no. think you should do Broadway. I've thought about it. You should, man. You I even got, there's I got, a bongo musical I got up offered, there. I got offered something, and it wasn't a bongo musical, but I got offered something, and uh, it's a good idea, though. Well, I got so offered I had something, to, too. What, what was it? 
It was a... Uh, Spider-Man? No, it was oh. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof would be great for you. Check this out. I get it, and I get a written offer. I'm like, bro, I'm play. we're going to go to... Blah, blah, blah. I've never done that before. But I want to go, so I want to go to New York. I want to go meet with this director and I find out what it's about, right? right? So I go sit down with him. I'm having breakfast. He says, would you come back to my office and read? There's some other people uh, that I'm looking for for the cast, and you know, we can get to know each other, and you can read with them, for them. Right. And I start reading Tennessee Williams, and I'm going on, and I'm reading right from the book. You know, he's got some five-page monologues, and um, I'm reading with him, and then all of a sudden he starts going, you can you can relax a little bit. You don't, you don't have to just stare at the book. You can be more of the emotion. So then all of a sudden I'm like reading. It's an hour and a half later, and I'm broke a little sweat, and I'm going off the book a little bit, and all of a sudden he's like, cut, 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 cut. This is Tennessee Williams. You, you, you have to say word for word. You can't go off the book. I'm like, look, I'm just... Yeah. We're just in the office anyway, here. Anyway, three hours yeah. later, I got I'm broken a sweat, and all of a sudden I'm noticing I'm being auditioned <laughs> for, for, the, for the part. And anyway... Uh, he made you audition by I using... Didn't, no, I, was, I thought I was teaming up with him, helping him out. <laughs> Negatory. Yeah. Came back home. Yeah, I would be upset. What was the guy's name? <laughs> I forgot his name. He's out there, too. You know who you are. Yeah. Um, you. What's up? Come and I go. I'm sorry, I'm a little, um, sleepy. <laughs> I've been hanging with my buddy, Matthew. <laughs> but we enjoyed the show, didn't we, buddy? Where the f <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's Matthew McConaughey. Yes, it is. Yeah, look, you look great. I, I, a little thin. A little, you look a little, a little thin. thin. Not as thin as Jeff. Yeah, I'm well, Jeff's very, Jeff's very thin. You, get, you drop and wait for a, a roll? Is that what's going on? Yeah. I dropped 15 so far. I've got another 15 to go. i got a roll coming up in September called uh, Dallas Buyers Club. And it's about a guy, true life story, a guy named Ron Woodruff in the 80s in Dallas, Texas. He uh, contacted HIV through some drug use. And um, he... Didn't like taking AZT, which is what the FDA gave everyone at that time. So he snuck out of the country and started smuggling in homeopathic medicines to help him feel better and survive. Right. And so he basically became a street black market drug dealer, dealing HIV medication homeopathically to what was primarily gays in Dallas. And he's also was homophobic. So there's the, uh, wow. the irony. Wow, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, so it's a comedy? <laughs> you, it's... <laughs> <laughs> You will laugh. Yeah, yeah. Are you you will laugh. Yeah. In, in, in the midst of all of that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, th yeah. This the, uh, the Kelly Joe the killer. He's crazy. killer Joe. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's that looks very nasty. That's, that's a comedy. As you that's not a comedy, you right? That's, that's a, a comedy. That's a scary badass. It, so I, I've seen you in a lot of romantic comedies recently. This is not romantic comedy. This is not a, much romance. Yeah, see, yeah, it's good. I like that. It's good. You do a little bit of John Wayne. It's good for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Work it out. A little killer badass. Joe is fun, man. I yeah. mean, you get you get to play the badass. You get to make up your own rules, which is always. You, fun. you just did it right there when you did it. Right, when you were talking like that, I kind of like I went to the bathroom a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you were doing it. You, I don't even know if you were aware of it. You were like, you make up your own rules, and you just did that. And I was like, what the hell, man? Kind of freaking me out. Let, let it go. <laughs> I've got another week to stick with this guy. Yo, yeah, no. Do you ever, I mean, that's the thing they always say about actors, like they get so into it that they get stuck with it. But you got, you got kids, man. You can't do that. Well, coming home from, from the set after working on Killer Joe, it was a nice, refreshing thing to see my kids smiling faces when I got home. Because all day I was in that mode where I was saying and speaking like this and making the rules very clear. Yeah, you're doing it again. You're doing go. it again. So right come now. home. Yeah, yeah. To, my, to my family was nice and refreshing uh, yeah. on this one, yeah. You know, you should do a vampire, Matthew. A vampire? Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just thinking, while, while you're thin. While I'm at it. While you're thin. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant idea. Get yourself now a proper vampire with a yeah. cape and turn into a bat and stuff. You oh, know, I, uh, more than the teeth. 
<laughs> yeah, more than the teeth. Cape, more than the cape bat, uh, and fly. Uh, but fly, yeah, yeah. Fly. Well, well that's Batman. You know, you're like, yeah, uh, hey, yeah, 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 yeah Batman bar. Yeah. We can make some money on that. <laughs> well, you, you can make some money. I can't make any money, man. I, if I could make money, I wouldn't be here doing this. You'd be the voice of the bat. I could be the voice of the bat. I'll be your, I'll be your little uh, European bat buddy. Like that's where we're going. Yeah, you're the vampire. You go around like you're from like uh, Crazyvania or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah, which yeah. is a town in Texas. That's the Absolutely. twist. Absolutely. Right. Population 305. Population 305. Yeah. yeah. And I'll be the like, where are we going now? Oh no, wait. I have to do it. Where are we going now, Mama Mars? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That one. That'd be good. The Scotch okay. vampiric. Scotch vampiric, yeah. That's good. I think Scottish that's a, vampiric. That's a, that's a drink, isn't it? It ought to be. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. Are you still drinking a lot? <laughs> Scotch vampiric, the, yeah. Sco the Scotch in, in blood. Am Scotch I still drinking a lot? I'm yeah. drinking less now because I'm losing weight. Yeah, you lose weight. But I like, uh, I like White wine spritzer, you could do that. You can do the Barles and James, but I'd yeah. rather not. I'll have a glass of red, but yeah. Um, yeah, I like a nice, tasty tequila on the rocks at the time. Yes, time. you do, don't I you? Do. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh darn, yes, I'm sir. so pleased Do you remember to see those you. days? Yes, I do. But if I could handle it the way you could handle it, I'd still do it. You can handle it pretty good. You, you, know, you know when you've had enough. I could never do that. Yeah. <laughs> was that it? Was that the deal? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, that was the thing. I mean, when I, when I was drinking, it was time to stop when the officers arrived. Oh, that? Uh, <laughs> So, you don't. You so don't. You got to know the officers real well. Yeah, yeah. And you started saying, "This is not my residence. I'm tired of staying with you guys." You said, "You know what? Maybe I need to put on the brakes. I need to. I need to go out and experience the world through the uh, the shock of sobriety. That's what I had to do. I hear bad you, business. Um, but there you are. It's got to be done. How many kids you got now? Four, five, eight. Uh, got two, two. Two walking around bipedal. One Vita's in the back. Hey, Vita. Oh, she's hey, back there right yeah, now. Yeah. She's not a backup in the backstage. She's in the back in the green room. She's my, my, uh, my two and a half year old daughter. My son Levi is at the hotel with my wife Camilla, and Camilla is pregnant with our third child. Well, so congratulations. Thank you. That is fantastic. Thank you, man. That's great. You got kids? I uh, two. Yeah, yeah, I got two. Two right now. I, I don't. I think maybe I could go another four or five. Yeah, right. I like them. The I like them. Oh, I do too. Ooh, yeah. But the thing is, I noticed after. I, I, we, we like to say after having a few, but we don't have them, you know, or the, the, the woman obviously yeah, the woman has, them. has them. And we like to go, yeah, yeah, let's have four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm like, eight, twelve, let's have a farm. And then all of a sudden, the woman goes, oh, wait a minute, you're forgetting who goes through all the work. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, you know, okay, a woman's pregnant, it's nine months of her life. No, it's two years of y'all's life. You got one year of pregnancy, and then the other year, the baby's on the teat. And so it's basically two years. <laughs> That the woman's out of well, commission. Well, sir, that is not the kind of language I'm used to hearing on this show. <laughs> the teat, you said. Teat, yeah. That's some kind of fancy European word. It's, 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 it's Scottish vampiric. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's true. I, it's a lot of it's a lot of work, but I I do love them, you know. But, but then again, I do leave the house and come back, like you know, you know, like my wife is there all day and all day. These, these so you're gonna have they're unreasonable, man. They're unreasonable. <laughs> the kids or the wives? <laughs> take your pick, buddy. Take your pick. That's a fact. Yeah, we have to take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Matthew McConaughey. Right. Right. Fridge. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome back over there. Hey. I'm talking to Matthew. You can listen if you like, but shut up. Because yeah. we're talking here. We're talking about losing the weight. Yeah. Yeah. So you you lose the weight for the role, and you like what do you eat? Like a, a calorie a day? Is that it? You eat a little egg, egg, a little egg white in the morning. You eat a five ounces of chicken at lunch and five ounces of beef in the evening, and you know a couple of Diet Dr. Peppers in between. And That's man, it. do those taste good I'll after 10 do. days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It tastes like cheesecake. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I See, the mental strain of that would drive me crazy. I, that, I, I, don't, I, I would get angry. You do get, yo, you get a little, I get a little clinical, as my, my wife says. You get, you get a, clinical? You get a little sharp. Yeah. Um, do you do that uh, Killer Joe voice when you're hungry? That drop it, they just yeah, 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 out yeah, and yeah. go, honey, um, 
do not throw the rest of that food away. That's good food. I can't eat it, but you should. Yeah, yeah, you got to have it. <laughs> I like to do that. I like to watch, uh, watch uh, people eat. You do? Yeah, it's a, it's a sexual perversion of mine. Don't you have anything like that? Do you get any kind of weird That's your sex fetish? Thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just I walk by a Denny's and go, wow, look at that, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't, I, a little bit. No, no. I guess there's worse perversions to no, have. No, I, 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 are you weird sexually? No, oh, that's, uh, that's what we were talking about in the break. Which yeah, we yeah, yeah. To hear, but we wanted to make sure you'd shut up. Yeah, yeah. So weird sexually. Nah, you it's know. the Scottish vampiric thing. Nah, right come on. You're very, uh, you're very Texan, aren't you? You're very kind of polite. And are you polite during sex, you, sir and ma'am? Uh, I'm so formal. <laughs> You keep your tie on? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Please, thank you. Wait, let me tie my shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. hey the, the it takes shoe. real talent to pull that off. Yeah, listen. Yeah. You can tie your shoes and take care of business yeah. at the same time. You, my friend, have got kundalini yoga down. That's, that's a little more than ambidextrous. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Hey, the, uh, the, uh, the strip dancey movie did really good. Magic Mike. Yeah, yeah man. Wow. How about that thing? We made that for less than ten million, and we're about to cross a hundred million. Oh, see, uh, you got a piece of that now. You tell me, you got a piece yes, of that sir. a little bit. Yeah, oh, yes, that's sir. fantastic. That's fantastic. What are you going to spend it on? <laughs> got a car? You got a, a nice real car? Real fun question of what I'm going to spend it on. Yeah, you get some. I mean, nice. the boring answer is I'm going to do some uh, some some renovation. We're going to pull put a pool in the house. That's, that's going to take a bit of it. Dude, you're a movie star. You should have a pool already. We don't have a pool yet. You don't have a pool? But as you know, I got the kids. The kids want a pool. Of course they and do. And in the summertime, a pool. Get one of those. Wonderful babies here. What's that? <laughs> oh, no, we have that one. You got an above ground? I didn't have to. I can't have, believe you have I an didn't. above ground pool. <laughs> I, we do. <laughs> we have an above ground pool. This is one pool. of the reasons why I love you. Really, I do. We you have an above ground pool, and I know you're not lying to me. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. And um, not a big rush. My wife would like me to hurry up and... You know, put up the dough to get this real below ground pool, but the yeah. kids really do like that above ground pool for now. <laughs> it's just in the summer in Texas it gets really hot it's and that plastic hot. starts burning too. Yeah. So if they if they don't put water over the side of it, that plastic can burn them as well. Well, you so. get you get a, a, a hose and you can uh, hose it down. Ah, see, it's an interactive experience. Yeah. You can... <laughs> of course, you could be out there all day. Yes. But then that keep you away from the barbecue, help you lose weight. <laughs> It's just easy math, isn't it? Yeah. It all adds up. You know, whenever I'm talking to you, I feel like it's going to be all right. <laughs> it is. I, I, I just do. I feel like it's going to be all right. Uh, and it is. It is. I, I swear, I don't know why. I just, I'm talking to you, I'm like, it's going to be all right. It'll be fine. It's, it's, it is going to be. Is that how you feel? I mean, what, what makes you nervous, man? Doesn't that make you nervous? <sighs> Yeah, I get, I mean, I get nervous. What does make me nervous? That's a good question. Um, well, they occasionally pop up, you know. They do. <laughs> yeah, last time I think you were wanting to talk Texas politics with me. Oh, no, no, that's not, that's not a good man. question. No. No. Um, what makes me nervous? Look, I'm nervous. Spiders? I, no, spiders don't make me nervous. You know what makes me nervous? That blind spot when you're on the road just before you enter a tunnel. There's a there's there, there's a there's about a there's about a five meter eight yard spot there where you, it's a blind spot, and I always have this quick little fear that what if the guy in front of me has to slam on the brakes, and I get a little antsy when I hit that blind spot. Yeah, but it's gonna be all right. Hey, thank you. so far so good. It's man. gonna be all right. Trying not to make a straight line crooked. Yeah, that's right. Man. Well, thanks for coming and sitting a spell with me. I, uh... Just having a yarn. Ah, it's great being, uh, just being around you, buddy. It's good to be here. Yeah. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm feeling better than I did when I sat down, and I felt good. Like, I felt like everything was going to be all right when I sat down, and I feel like everything's going to be even better Whoa. now. See, uh, yeah. <laughs> then, then my work here is done. Well, we do that. Saul in Lincoln, Nebraska, who says, uh, Craig, are you and Jeff planning to do any impressions of Matthew McConaughey when he's actually on the show? He's on the show tonight. Absolutely not. Why? If Matthew knew that impressions were done of him on the show, he might not even agree to appear on the show. Oh, excuse me, everyone. 
<laughs> Hello? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Who's this? Hey, it's uh, Matthew McConaughey. What's going on, man? <laughs> I'm going to be over there in just a little bit. I don't want you guys making fun of me or nothing like that. <laughs> Why, that could never happen. No one here will... I don't know if we should be doing this, man. What are you doing over there? You, who are you uh, talking just, to? Uh, I think it's... I'm not sure. It might not be Matthew McConaughey. It might not be Matthew McConaughey on the phone. I'll let you get back to not Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> but, but it might be. Oh, it my God, be. he's here. Uh, all right. He's back there? He's back there. What the hell's going on, man? I don't know. He just yelled. What are you trying to do? I don't know. Hey, you guys cut it out. Man. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! That was him yelling. Is that really him? That was him. Hang on. Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still here. No, wait. This is weird. Is this really Matthew? I think we've got a, a party line. Yeah, hello? Go ahead. This, I'm here, too. What's up, man? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Talk to me, Captain Fab. Tell me what you got. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, Matthew, no one's doing any impressions of you here. No, no, no. I know. That's all right, all right, all right. No. Whoa. What the hell? I don't that know, man. That was too fast. I, oh, man. <laughs> this, this whole show is finally it's falling out of on control. Ass. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back with Matthew McConaughey. We'll be right back. than any the pre-interview means nothing it means nothing it's meaningless the pre-interview is a formality nothing. like wearing a tie or underpants yeah. <laughs> optional i but spit on necessary. the conventions you look great man thank you man yeah, you went really thin the last time you were here it was just before you were doing dallas buyers yeah. club yeah you looked you, you were like jeff peterson man yeah, yeah. what's up man good to see you man real close man. yeah all right hey, you're looking, good, man. You're looking good man yeah. you're looking good yeah you're looking good just slow it down, man. Just slow, slow it down. down. Don't, slow it. Don't do it, man. It's rude to do impressions of people while they're here. Really? Are you serious? Oh! <laughs> sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> the Interstellar looks good. Yeah. Uh, are you, that Michael Caine. Yeah. He's uh, Michael Caine in space. They got the idea for this movie on this show. <laughs> We used to do a sketch every week, Michael Caine in space. And look what they did. They the, stole and it. they stole it and made a movie out of it. He's nice, Michael, wasn't he? Yeah, he's really, he's funny. Crikey. Yeah, he's, no, he's like, very, uh, all right, um, I'll tell you something, Matthew. Yeah. You know what he told me? What? One take, and that's all you really need. And I said, well, what, what, we didn't even really get that, that, that scene right. Because I said, they'll fix it in, in, in post. They'll, they'll fix it in the They, in they the use a room. computer, yeah. In the editing room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what he's like. Yeah. He's like, you know what I heard about Sean Connery when he was shooting The Name of the Rose? I think it might even be Michael uh, Caine that told me this, because they're friends, that you know how he was wearing that robe and he was playing the old monk? Like, underneath the robe, he's wearing his golf outfit. And yeah. he would say, that, well, that's enough, I'm fine. I've got a tea yeah. time, I'm out of here. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> off of the robe and off golf. The wisdom of the men have been doing it. For yes, it's right. You don't want to overthink it. Now, you're playing a pilot, though, yeah. in the movie. When you're a pilot. Yeah, I'm a pilot. I can do it, yeah. I don't think anyone's going to let me fly a spaceship. Can you fly a plane? No. And it's one of the reasons I'm so relaxed when I'm flying. Because I know if Crikey. it does go down, Can he I, say that? I, am not, I am not the guy. <laughs> Hold <laughs> on a second. Answer. You're telling me that you're not letting Matthew McConaughey say... Crikey! <laughs> you realize this What's is this? America! What's this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I, I, I don't know if I can fly a plane. You know, that's, that's why. I'm so relaxed when I'm on a flight, because you just the give stuff yourself it does go down. I know I'm not in the top five on the plane that could actually pilot it. So it also might be because you're a little got a little bit of a buzz going on as well. That may be, <laughs> which sometimes could be helpful in a situation like that. But you're, it's you're, not you're FAA approved. A lot. What? Your drinking has come up a lot on the show tonight. <laughs> well, no, it did a couple of weeks ago though. That's the one I'm talking. Ten days ago, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get 
for you. When you come to Paris, you're going to learn a lot about French and how they drink. I've spent quite a lot of time in Paris, actually. So? <laughs> Did you just sew me on an American top? <laughs> you sewed me! You were like, so? I haven't been sewed by a French girl in about 15 years, and I liked it! <laughs> I'm happy you're happy. You sold me, so? So? No, I'm just saying. I... When, when, when Marion Cotillard That's was here... That's the show I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, when Marion right. Cotillard was here, yeah. So? She's attractive, isn't she? So? That... Oh! Wow. Hey! Yeah. Wow. yeah. Did you see that show? I watched that show. Yeah! Wow. She's a very special woman, that Marianne Cotillard. You ever been to Paris? Yes. You enjoy it? Yeah, I like the South of France better. Why? It's a little slower? <laughs> <laughs> a little more in the way of recreation that you enjoy, that kind of thing? Yeah, I get yeah. it. You can have a glass of wine yeah. with your glass of wine. Yeah. You gotta even relax and take it. That's what I like about you, man. You take it easy. You don't buy into the Hollywood. Crocky. You re I can say it. He's here. Oh, he you, uh... <laughs> yeah, if he can say it, I can say it. He's not letting anyone say it. Oh, You're a geez. racist, man. <laughs> This is, a, this is an American actor sitting yeah. right here, and you are beeping him in front of the yeah. American... Yeah. Land of the free, my ass. What's crikey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Saying that. I can That's where we think only got five seconds of the show that they could put on the air. <laughs> to be honest, I think five seconds is what most people want. I mean, it's... Uh, I think that's maybe what it's it is. It's your show? And we're on... Yeah, for now, I'm... Ne it lasts as long as we want. I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. I know. Yeah, that's... the. This is it. On the way out. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the way out. And yeah, I'm going to go and walk the earth and solve crimes. <laughs> yeah, what's like, I'm going to do one? that, yeah. What's the, what's the first one you're going to tackle? What, crimes? Yeah. Um, cargo shorts. Okay. Uh, the crime of, are they long short pants or short long just, pants? Just like, you know, who are you trying to kid, man? You're not doing any maintenance. You don't need pockets right, for right. tools. <laughs> You're enjoying recreation time, and you're wearing yeah. a work garment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's not right. No. <laughs> like For example, when you're when you're recreating, when yeah, you're uh, recreating. when you're relaxing, what do you wear apart from when you're drumming? <laughs> the, uh, the, I remember it. Yeah, yeah, we all remember it. Yeah, you're yeah, tapping, a little. It's happened since. They just didn't catch me. Um, <laughs> When I'm recreating? Yeah, when you're recreating. When you're, uh, you know, you're at the beach with the kids or something. You, you, what do you, you don't wear cargo shorts, right? No, I don't like it when they go past my knee. <laughs> you know, another thing that's not good about cargo shorts, and I think we can say this on the show. Yeah? <laughs> As a man standing up to oh, do yeah. number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hang right there. Yeah, wrong area. There, yeah, yeah. The, they're right in the... They lift the seat. You don't want your cotton touching a toilet seat. <laughs> That's a crime I worked on in Soho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So wait, when you lift the this, this seat, you don't want the seat touching your you bare leg your or your cargo pants. Yeah. The edge touching the top. Oh, the edge touching, touching for number the top one. Of the porcelain. Yeah. Oh. So then what do you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then it looks like you, like maybe there's been a misfire, and actually you're. <laughs> no, I'm not worried about what it looks like. I don't want my shorts in there touching the edge. Of the toy, of the of the porcelain. Well, you could always stand back a little and aim, you know. <laughs> Come on, like, you're still a young man. So you're you know, still a uh, <laughs> little trajectory. I tell you a young man story. You know, my my older brother Pat got his first uh, motorbike. Yeah. My dad's out at uh, at uh, with a bunch of friends at a ranch in Texas. My it's getting late. One guy's six foot six, and they're talking about who could be. The highest, right? Right, right. And there's guys on their own. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. I know. Right? What do you do when you go up there? Oh, nothing. You know, wow. Well, so my dad says, he sees this little uh, motorcycle over in the corner, and he says, uh, he goes, I'll bet you that motorcycle that my son can pee over your head to the guy who's six foot six. And six foot six. And I go, no, there's no way. Well, dad leaves the ranch, drives an hour and a half back to our hometown, wakes my brother up who's sleeping and it's tidy wise what do you do when you're, when you're eight years old you want to and you get up at two in the morning you want to go pee pop's like no 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 come on puts him in the truck drives him an hour and a half back the guy gets up there puts the mark on it on the wall my little brother gets up and goes Wheel! <laughs> goes on with the first motorcycle it's fantastic yeah. that's two stories that's your older brother the middle older brother i got two so older you, brothers. Got, you got your brother rooster yeah he's 60 and then past 50. all right okay and you're 40? 45. 45? Man.
How old are you? 52. 52? 52, yeah. I've had more of those than I can count now. The exam. You know, after you get 40, you get the exam. F the 50. No, the, 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 the prostate exam. <laughs> The cough? No, the cough's just a, hey, how you yeah. doing, sailor? No. Oh, that, okay. Yeah, no, the, when, right. you, when you get to 40, then you should start getting that. And then when you get to 50, 50. the camera goes in. Oh, yeah? So the last two years, you got the camera. Oh, no, you only, I asked for the camera every couple of weeks, <laughs> but they only do it. They only do it every, uh, and it's just the camera. There's no crew. Just the camera. Just the camera. <laughs> and the camera goes in. It's not so much the camera. It's the drugs you get for the, for the, for the camera going in. So the can so the so the the, it's uh, real the recreation in at that time is the recreate the recreating yeah. of of the colonoscopy is if you get the because they gave I, all the drugs I've had in my life have been illegal I never had legal drugs they're they're a lot better and <laughs> and they give you the everybody during the colonoscopy is Matthew McConaughey <laughs> you're like in all right, all right. Okay. yeah all right. <laughs> Did you ever, you said that once in a movie, didn't you? All right, all right, all right. First that? words I ever said on film. Was it really? 1992, Days of Confuse. Wow, I didn't know it was the first thing you'd First done. thing I ever said. And then have you ever said it since, or is it just the skeleton and every other impression that gets done of you? No, I still say it. It's my, actually, if, if I have like a, a speech or I'm going to say go somewhere, I usually kick off with that and it relaxes me. And it, get, it makes everyone in the room laugh too, which gets you, you know, it's a good way to start. Yeah, I, I need something like that. You know, make people laugh, calm them down. You got one. What? You, you did it. You did. You're doing it right there. You did it earlier. What it's it? that pause when you get a little sly look, a little sly little grin, and look no. to the left. No, you know what? You know but what you're it not, is. You're not. You. You don't speed up when you, you. You love a good pause. Oh, I like a pause. I'll do one right now. Yeah. We'll be right back with Matthew McConaughey. We'll be right back. He was singing right he back looks then. Like he's Brazilian or Spanish or something hey, like hey, that. Hey, but he's not, hey, hey, not afraid of the pause. Not afraid of the pause. <laughs> Tell you who's good at the pause. Like one of the early uh, exponents of the pause is Michael Caine. Yes. He's good at the pause. <laughs> he, does a, he does a movie. Do you ever see the movie Get Carter, the original one? No. Michael Caine, he must have been younger than you are now when he did it. And he's, he's, he's like, he's got this scene where he's talking to a big, heavy hitman guy. And he goes like this, he's like, he's playing the, the badass and he goes, yeah. you're a big man, but you're in bad shape. And to me, it's a full-time job. So behave yourself. <laughs> sense of menace about it, you know what I mean? It was like sense yeah, of menace, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I think what people do with the pause is they add the whatever they're thinking and they put it in, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's very good at the pause. Yeah. <laughs> very good. I'm working on it. I hadn't thought about it really until now. I don't know if you're pausing or just recreating. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> it could be the same thing. I like yeah. recreating. I've always called it cultivating, but I like recreating. Uh, recreate. <laughs> Recreate, yeah. I think that, see, when I watch movie actors, really good ones, and I include you in this, is like people that look like they are more relaxed on camera than they are off camera. Mm -hmm. Like, they, it's just like there is an absence of adrenaline. Unless the scene requires the character yeah. to have adrenaline, yeah. they don't look like people who are actually performing right. at all. Well, I mean, that's kind of the, we, what we do is acting, but the goal is not to get caught acting. You're right. The last thing I want to do, I've had days where I'm throwing like, oh, boy, you were acting, buddy. And saw it, and I was like, oh, geez, got to do that again. I mean, the goal is to not really But act. I don't know if always that's the case. Like, you know, when people, when if you take a movie like Rain Man, right? Right. Like Rain Man, two great actors, right? Dustin Hoffman, Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. Now, in that movie, as far as I'm concerned, 
the best and most amazing performance in that movie is actually from Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. Because he's dealing with someone who's acting their ass off in that movie, oh, yeah. and Tom Cruise is doing his thing. Right. And I believed him, and, you know, Dustin Hoffman wins the Academy Award for yeah. being best actor, because everyone can see that he's acting. Well, <laughs> they know him well enough to go, oh, that wasn't Dustin playing Dustin. I mean, they know they know that. Yeah. But I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna choreograph a part that has, you know, all those eccentricities or whatever yeah. you want to call them, that's not you, it can be done really well where you don't feel like you're acting or you, it doesn't appear like oh that person I caught him acting. Right. If you get him in the first plus, the other thing is if you, if you, if you see that kind of performance and in the first two minutes, yeah, the first scene, if you if if it works. They're not hung up on that. Wait, it's him acting, right, right. playing a part. So if they say if it doesn't, it right if it away. doesn't work, you, then you're now in half of the movie going, why is he still talking like that? I know that's not him. This doesn't work. I hate yeah. when you can see things happen in movies. Yeah. Like when someone in a movie goes, like in the first like five minutes, they go, <coughs> I'm fine. You go, you're dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. Hey, anyway, before you go, I've, there's a movie coming out. Oh, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey. Check it out. I think he's going to do all right. It's it's built into it's a tremendous film. Tremendous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Chris Nolan, isn't it? Yeah, Chris yeah, Nolan. Yeah, the most ambitious thing he's done. I, I love the film. He's very smart. Um, it's as far out there into space as you've ever seen taken on film. That's for sure. And it's just one hell of a ride. And it's a great father daughter love story. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey, everybody. everybody. That Matthew was good tonight, wasn't he good oh, tonight? Oh man, he was great. Man. Yeah, he, he was, was good. He, uh, he, uh, bless you. He, um, <laughs> someone sneezed over there. You all right? Okay. <laughs> They're not going to make it. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go and see that movie. You going to see that oh, movie? Oh yeah, let's go together, man. We should go together. No, no, no. I want to enjoy it. <laughs> uh, but I am going. No, I'm going to go and see it my own because you always talk during the movie. This movie, I think, looks really good. Like, really, it's Chris, Chris Nolan, the, yeah. the, the, the amazing director. director, and then Matthew, and then Michael Caine. This is the this is the kind of movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you if you go to the bathroom during the movie, just remember, don't let your cotton touch the toilet. <laughs>